we'll take a look inside. So as you come to the front, a few stairs up to the driver's cockpit area. There's slats on the right hand side. We have a long uh, drop down leather couch, which can be turned to a bed, it sleeps one pretty comfortably. Um, the te television's optional, um, so if you want that, we can actually fix that to it and make it a permanent fixture for you. Rug, um, so this is the kitchen area. So with spotlights, they're actually all directional, so you can move them fully to uh, see wherever you wanna send the light pools to. Um, this is the kitchen area, so it's a full gas, gas cooker, so four hob and uh, gas oven with electric um, toaster underneath. Um, so it's a tile top. We have a couple of doors here. That's uh, just general storage for cups and whatnot. And then under here, this is more storage for plates. Another. Like that. So it's an above on the sink. Oh, sorry, on on bench sink. Uh, flick mixer taps. So hot, cold. Again, that's removable and directional. Little shelf that's up against the window that's handy for uh, storing things, uh, accessories like so, knives and forks and whatnot. Uh, then we have the fridge area. So this is a so the microwave up top. There's a uh, it's a two-way fridge, so it's it's fridge freezer and it's gas electric. Uh, so good for off-grid. And then we have this section here, which is the pantry. So this is off the off one of the walls. So you open it up. So it's a double door pantry, like so. It's got everything you need in there for the shelving, etc. Uh, that's basically the kitchen area. Just pan back for the lounge room. Again, more storage in there. So there's three pull-out drawer bins in there. Now we're going to go to the halfway point of the bus. So we've got concealed LED lighting. Uh, that's all controlled through Alexa, um, as is all the lighting in the bus. Uh, so we've got nib wall here, and what happens to get to the back of the fridge component, you can just pop this panel here off, uh, and you can get to the back, pull the fridge out, do what you need to do. And the bedroom side, so again we have the, um, the slats, slat look, um, and it's a queen size bed. There's a shelf at the back, uh, the lamps are fixed on, it can be removed, um, but I find with transit it's easier, you just take the plants off. Um, so yeah, that's the... That's the bedroom component. Again, so there's spotlights up the top and the lamps. It's quite a nice little place to, to hang out to. And then look out, looking out also, out either window, it's quite nice wherever you are. It's quite nice and you're by the beach. Uh, another nib wall. The lighting system is all, it's all touch as well. So it's that, again, through uh, Alexa. And then, so going into the back of the bathroom area. We have the full shower. It's a full meter by meter shower. Uh, flick mixer and uh, shower head. And what I've done is actually mounted the shower beneath the hatch. So when you're showering, the heat actually goes straight out. Um, and a few of the motor homes have had, had extra extraction fans and whatnot. It just adds not a great aesthetic. And it's you know, a bit more complication. So um, I did this layout purely around the shower for that functionality reason. We have a full composting toilet. Um, so this is brand new. This is the, the creme de la creme one. Um, so yeah, so it is the um, it is sawdust, sawdust one. It's a fully automatic one, so it actually um, it evaporates any fluids that are in there. And then once every eight weeks, you just pull that bottom tray out, throw the uh, composted uh, material in the garden, put the tray back in, and away you go. So you get about eight weeks out of that. Um, so that's like so that's the. That's the Bentley of toilets, <laughs> all things composting. Um, so this is the main main area, uh, like vanity area. So again, there's doors under here, heaps of storage, uh, pop, pop sinks, again, flick mixer, all chrome taps. Uh, this is all fixed, the mirror. So again, the slat effect, LED lighting that's directional, so you can point that where it needs to go. Uh, we also have the, uh, so this is the back of the, of the wardrobe. So what I've done is actually used this back half of the, of the bus as like a full walk-in wet room, bathroom sort of thing, laundry. Um, for me for me and my personal lifestyle, that's why I wanted to have that level of um, functionality. 
Uh, so we've got the Samsung wash and dryer. Um, so it's a, it's a combo, so you can do it all. Full loads of washing in 200, 200 bit hours, I think. Um, again, full on pull out drawing, etc. The storage at the back there. Uh, also the shelf for shoes. The air conditioner is a five kilowatt aircon. Um, so the reason I went for this way was because I did a little a bit of research prior to the build, and one of the major concerns there was was the um, the height room for well, sorry was the height restriction with bridges when you head west. Uh, a lot of the old railway bridges that connect the the, the states they they they're capped out to about 3.8 or four meters is at an absolute max. And if I had have gone for the above roof one, that would have put the total the total way to it. It just takes the functionality away from it. So I went for a massive uh, five kilowatt system for the aircon, and, and which uses the length of it. So that's that's and I went away recently, and that was proven firsthand. So it was much easier to get in and out of town, which was great. So one last pan of the bathroom. Roller, roller blind there. Uh, the roof's in amazing condition. It's still glossy and beautiful. It's got actually got a, 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 a built-in speaker system throughout. Uh, track curtains as well. So, and there's also a secondary, um, I'll just put pinch wire in here. And there's all these white curtains you can see through there. They actually pull straight across. So it feels like a bit of a hotel room when it's all, when it's all nice and pulled. It's great. It's quite a nice, nice feeling. So again, the bedroom. So the full concealed color change LED light. So it's got a seven, seven light spectrum on it. And there's also storage underneath here as well. So you can pop that panel off and it's great for extra, extra storage. Whenever I'm in transit, I just pop these, pop any accessories just onto the couch. It's most of the, most of the bus is built for um, for moving, so you just pop anything that's that's light onto the couch, and away you go. Um, now we're going to get to the driver's cockpit area. So, what I actually did here, there's these two extra poles that are here. They're designed to hold a uh, like a big piece of timber. So the piece of timber will go across the top, and it rests on this ledge here. And you've got additional storage or display area for whatever you need. So I've, I've put a shoe rack on there myself. The seat just folds down and then the cover goes over the top and it's, it's great. You wouldn't even know there's a, there's a driver's seat in there. Um, so in terms of the console, we have a six speed Eaton Fuller gearbox. Um, it's before I purchased the bus, they just put a brand new clutch and gearbox in it. So it's, a, it's like a brand new one. All the dials, they are original K's. So it's 366, 385. Um, they are the original K, so it hasn't done a million and then clicked over. It's original, which is su it's a 2004 model, so the kilometres are super low for that, uh, which is great. And condition-wise, she's fantastic. Paint works great, uh, bar a few minor things, which I'll go through. Uh, she has her manuals, full operation manuals, everything you need there. Um, and again, service manuals, etc everything you need so that's one of the hardest things to find with a bus these days is that's uh that's still got all that stuff so that's super handy to have and personally as me as a as the current owner i've found that really really useful so it's good to pass it on um yeah so that's basically the inside um what i'll do i'll just quickly show you the alexa sides of things so the alexa is placed here so you just say alexa kitchen off All right, try that again, she's listening. Alexa, kitchen off. So it turns off, and again, Alexa, hallway off. And then goes through, Alexa, bathroom off. Alexa, bathroom off. And one final, Alexa, bedroom off. So that's turned off, but just the lamps are still on. But that's pretty much how Alexa works. Um, she's all hooked up. She does come with a full, so that's turned off. She does come with a full uh, data package for Telstra. Uh, I think it's, um, I think it's 50 bucks a month or something like that. And it's 25 gig. 
which is huge for a bus of this size. <laughs> you don't really need that much. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty well how it works. And in terms of the color lighting, all you have to say is Alexa, turn hallway magenta. She's playing music, so she doesn't want to. Alexa, turn hallway magenta. And, and then just, so you just call whatever command you need from there. So you can change it from magenta to, to cyan to green to whichever, whichever color you choose. Um, so yeah, that's particularly been one of the luxuries that I've really loved having with it. So when, when you leave late of a night time, you can actually have all the lights still on. Um, and then when you leave, you just close the door and then you can talk straight through the door and tell Alexa to turn everything off and away you go. So rather than having to walk back through and turn everything off, just talk through Alexa and away you go. So that's an overview of Ivana of Echo. She's been an absolute treat to build. It's been an absolutely exciting journey for me personally um, to turn it into what it is. So uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for checking her out. That's all I talk to you soon. Bye.